Hello YouTube. It has been a while since I've made a video. Um, things have changed, moved, changed jobs, had a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, and I just haven't had the chance to make a video. Um, but that's about to change. Working on putting a little something together here. Got two transformers that are pretty much fresh out of the microwave. Still cutting all the rest of the wiring off there. Um, gonna mount them right on the edge there. What I don't like is we got the output on one side and then the 120 volts in on that side but on this transformer they both come out the same end so I uh, really want to do it like this but so I'll figure that out and then uh, we'll get back here once I get a little of this put together all right so this is what I've come up with um, it's the next day <laughs> Uh, we'll start at the beginning here. Um, I have these transformers both set up to where um, they will be in phase with each other if I decide to hook them up together and uh, use them that way. Um, also, the high voltage outputs um, connect to these little terminal blocks so I can easily unscrew it and put it to the case. To the case if I need to um, both of the power supplies in are using uh, 20 amp fuses um, basically just stolen right out of the microwaves um, I have these basically just stuck down with hot glue um, two transformers each and again I can just unplug everything if I decide I don't want to use them as well. Um, ground or the case, the way I have it set up is um, just little spade terminals on the end like that for, for both of those and uh, that way I can just plug up my, my neutral, my hot, and my ground and just be done with it. Now, as far as the case goes on both of these, um, these are actually self-tapping screws. I tapped through the actual uh, case. I didn't use one of the pre-drilled holes like what we have here. Um, I made my own so there'd be a fresh contact there. Um, again, just all hot snot around. And then I have them connected to these, uh, these posts are actually what came out of that uh, telephone pole transformer um, and then uh, the way those work is you can just loosen that and then you can tighten things up in there so everything can be nice and snug and you can hit the power switch from a good distance away um, from wherever you're at so you don't get uh, hit by anything in case it might be of the explosive variety um, I'm thinking about naming this thing the uh, the torture table um, uh, I was sitting on the couch and I had the idea of creating maybe a mini series or something like that um, where uh, just a short maybe one or two minute videos where I just fry stuff <laughs> household stuff uh, I don't know maybe components that fail all the time that uh, you'd like to see destroyed maybe even uh, take suggestions from the comment section who knows um, but yeah I, I apologize for the delay in the videos and uh, we'll cut to a scene here and uh, oh yeah 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 my uh, the plan here is um, for today's video, or what's left of it, is we're going to be doing some arcs with the uh, carbon rods that you get inside uh, cheap 
double A batteries. Basically, just peel the top off. I don't know if you can actually see. Then the carbon rods just go right inside there. And then you have your little nipple from the top of the battery. What we're going to do is we're going to hook up uh, the transformers and stuff and we're going to arc those. How I plan on powering this is I have tapped into this rat's nest. Good God, look at that. Thank God this isn't my house. I'd, I'd go OCD on this. Um, I'm only a renter, so I'm not fixing it. Um, I have my own. This breaker right here is a 20 amp. And then, you know, we're tapped into the neutral bar. And then for ground, I'm just using the, the case of the uh, breaker box. And then that is going to go to the famous old school switch box here. And then from that, I'm going to have to get a... I'm going to have to get another spade terminal on the ground, but then the way that works is hot, go on there, come on, neutral, and then a spade terminal for ground, and we'll plug that into there, and hit the switch. And we can actually do it from the siding glass door if we're going to be blowing up capacitors or something to where we won't be in any trouble. So, uh, give me a couple minutes here. We'll get set up and uh, we'll be back. Alright, we are back. We're set up. So, what we have is, again, hot going into the fuse. Neutral on a transformer like that. And now I got a speed terminal connecting my ground. And then what I did is I just got a little alligator clip lead here and I have one of the carbon rods uh, just on, on the clip. First we're going to do just a regular arc on the post. Then we're going to do the carbon rod, see what the difference is with just um, just with the copper pokey on the, uh, on the uh, chicken stick. And then for the final, we're gonna, I'm gonna probably wind up taping it or something onto there, and we'll do carbon rod to carbon rod, and we'll see what that looks like. So let's plug her in. Turn it on. We got some hum going. And see what we get. Oh, damn it. Plug the uh, spade terminal into there. All right, there we go. So first, that's pretty. Isn't that cute? See what the carbon rod does. That's better. Go get the other carbon rod. All right, we are set up. So, again, got the ground. I got 
Oh, I gotta put these back. I got. All right. Well, that's sort of the best uh, the best I could come up with there to hold the carbon rod on. Uh, no bit of tape or anything would work because it just gets so hot it'll melt. So uh, it seems sturdy enough. So let's see what we can do here. here I'll give her a plug in. A turn on. And let's make some magic here. to just doing it like that. Ah, oh, you bloody monkey, you. Uh, we can't have that. Get back on. Let's kill that light and now let's try it That's enough fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know in the comments if there's any household uh, junk that you might want to see destroyed that you might think I have just laying around. And uh, we'll put it on the torture table and see how it lasts. <laughs> I might have to get a better circuit breaker, though. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it so much. Uh, I apologize for the huge, huge break in videos. Um, I'll put a stop to that. Take care. Good night.